In this video, I'm gonna go over some of the key components underneath the hood of your Toyota hybrid vehicle, whether you're driving a RAV4 hybrid, Highlander hybrid, Toyota Sienna hybrid, and more. You may notice underneath the hood of your Toyota hybrid vehicle, whether this is your first hybrid Toyota or first hybrid vehicle in general, that things look a little bit different when you compare it to your previous vehicle or your non-hybrid Toyota vehicle. And that is because, well, things are a little differently arranged and there are key components like some bright orange cables or wires sticking out from the top of the engine bay and also you will see other items like your reservoir for your washer fluid other reservoirs like your brake fluid and you may be looking also for your 12 volt battery now your 12 volt battery for your hybrid vehicle for the most part especially if it's a toyota it's going to be in the back of that vehicle usually off to the passenger side but on the front of the vehicle underneath the hood and typically on the driver's side you will find a large black fuse box where you can actually go to boost or jump start your hybrid toyota vehicle they're actually designed these fuse boxes once you open them up there is a power or a red positive terminal that you can use and connect it with a negative to jump start and boost your hybrid toyota vehicle but that's not what this video is about and like i mentioned if you want your uh, you want access to your 12 volt battery that is in the back of your hybrid toyota vehicle for many reasons one there's really not the space for that underneath the hood of your hybrid toyota vehicle because there's other electric components that take up that space and for the most part the 12 volt battery is really only being used to uh, power up small accessory items, uh, power equipment, uh, multimedia equipment, your door locks, etc. And you do have a high voltage battery that powers up your electric powertrain system on your hybrid Toyotas. Two other items that you'll find underneath the hood of your hybrid Toyota typically are things like inverters and a power control unit that you don't have these on your non-hybrid Toyota vehicle. But let's get back to the point of this video. And it's those bright orange cables that are sticking out from the top surface of the hybrid Toyota powertrain, usually close to the firewall. What are they? What are they about? What do you do about them? Do you have to do anything about them? Let's talk about it. All right, maybe you knew, maybe you didn't, but the orange things underneath the hood of your hybrid Toyota vehicle are actually cables which are protected with this orange cover. I'll get to that again a little bit ahead, but these are high voltage power cables that actually transport the power to and from your hybrid powertrain system, the battery, the motor, and other key hybrid components. Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard number 305 mandates that the use of orange is used for high voltage cabling outside of the electrical protection barriers in both EVs and HEVs. Now the use of this color coding helps to ensure that technicians and really anyone working underneath the hood of this hybrid Toyota vehicle is aware of the presence of these high voltage cables and can take any appropriate or necessary safety precautions. While orange is the main color used by Toyota for these high voltage cables, some other brands and manufacturers might also use colors like bright blue or even yellow to cover and conceal or protect the high voltage cables. For the most part, you should never really have to touch or do anything to these high voltage cables that are covered in orange underneath the hood of your hybrid Toyota vehicle. And if anything ever were to happen, it should be looked at and touched by a Toyota certified technician, not by yourself. Keep in mind, like I said, these are high voltage cables and they're covered in orange for a reason uh, to alarm whoever's working near the vehicle of any safety precautions that you have to take. 
Now I've mentioned this in many of my other videos and reviews when it comes to the overall maintenance or routine recommended maintenance on a hybrid Toyota versus a non-hybrid Toyota. And I'm talking about even the plug-in hybrids as well. So Prius plug-in hybrid and RAV4 plug-in hybrid. It's actually very identical to the routine recommended scheduled maintenance of a non-hybrid Toyota. In fact, if you take a look at my other videos, I'll put links in the description below, or if you take a look at the scheduled routine maintenance on the Toyota website, you will see that during every other or every so often uh, service interval, whether it's service number two, one, or three, there's actually less items to touch and inspect or service on the hybrid Toyota versus the non-hybrid Toyota. Take a look at the videos later on. You can see what I'm talking about. For example, propeller shafts, for example, transfer cases. There's certain aspects and parts of a moving vehicle that don't really apply on the hybrid uh, components for the vehicle because they're mainly uh, taken up and replaced by electrical components. For example, there's no starters on the uh, hybrid Toyotas. Whereas when you go with the regular conventional non-hybrid Toyota, those ones do have starters underneath the hood. Hopefully I've answered the question to some new hybrid Toyota owners as to what those big bright orange things are underneath the hood, what you need to do or don't do, and what it means, why are they orange. Uh, I hope I've explained myself properly in this video. If you enjoyed the review, make sure you smash a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for constant cool videos like this coming your way. We'll catch you guys on the next video and review. Take care.